Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just thought I'd do a bit of a Dollar Tree haul and kind of a chat with me. I have done this video about three times and <laughs> I've had issues every time. Um, this was actually like three Dollar Tree hauls and I have a new phone and the phone keeps stopping in the middle of my videos and then I don't realize and I don't know where I've stopped. So we're gonna try this and I'm going to attempt to see if maybe I can get through this whole video without having to stop my camera multiple times. Um, and we'll just go from there. So I will start. Um, some of this I did open and uh, I'm still gonna show it to you anyways. And I can hear my dogs climbing the gate. Are so badly behaved. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this um, notepad from Crown Jewels. How pretty is this? I love the colors. I love the shapes. I love it all. These are all Dollar Tree. Um, if it's not Dollar Tree, it's something I would tell you separately, but I'm trying to be a little bit more organized with this. Um, so, and some of the products I have opened and used so I can give you a better um, review or whatnot of what I thought about them. And here comes my son. Doing a video, buddy. Where's the comb? Can, stay back, okay. Where's the comb? The combs? Uh -huh. I don't know, bud. Well, that was very short-lived. I didn't want to have to stop my camera at all, but my son insisted on having a whole conversation. And I don't want to make you guys sit through that. So, okay. So the first thing I got, uh, or, uh, it's the second thing. I already showed you the first thing. I picked up these highlighters. They have all the school stuff out now. And I have been using these. Uh, I regularly buy highlighters now because I, let's see, I am obsessed with crossword puzzles. Um, not crossword, sorry. Like word searches. And I have been doing them non Stop. Let me see. So these are a couple of the colors. Um, this is this color here, which looks like that would be the right color. This is this color here. But this color looks a little bit more different than um, than I expected. It's very like a light limey color, like not quite as bright as I thought it would be. So, um, I do these a lot. I just enjoy them. It's quiet. Uh, it doesn't require a ton of my attention and I can just kind of work on them as I'm doing things and I enjoy it. So, um, I buy a lot of highlighters lately. I also found, um, these are from the brand Jot and they are out of the packaging. I have them in my little pen cup. Um, these pens. It is a four pack all with different caps and they're all kind of the same. I mean, they might have some different colors, um, but it's like multiple colors in each pen. It's really nifty. I said nifty, that's right. I use that word. Okay, another thing, um, and not all of it's open, but this is, um, I took this out of the box right away because I wanted to smell it. This came in a clear, like plastic see-through box it is a candle and it says love grows here. How cute is this? It is a succulent on the top. Um, I have no intention of lighting it because I just think it's pretty. They did have some that had like the, the pot part was like a mint green color. Landry, can you please go pick up your bowl? The dog's eating out of it. Thank you. <gasps> Don't leave the bowl on the table and the dog the coffee table. The dog wouldn't get it. Um, anyways, there was some that had like a mint green right here and I really prefer that, but I actually like the succulent part on the top oh of this one better. So I just got this one. Uh, this actually smells kind of minty. It doesn't label what the smell is. There was no label on the box what the smell is, but it's more of like I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like a candy, like the candy mints that are more of a candy. 
So it's really sweet smelling, but it smells good. But as I have no intention of lighting it, I won't be able to tell you if it actually like emits a smell when it's lit, you know? So I got this to put on my desk because I love succulents. All right, the next thing I found is super cute. It is the pink flamingo um, tap case. I don't know what I will use it for. Um, I have another thing like this that I have a circle hairbrush with some hair ties in it. Um, I don't know, I'll find something. Sometimes I don't wanna just leave my um, AirPods on the keychain because the, the dangly part um, can scratch things in my purse. My dog is on a roll out there. Um, so this is super cute. I really like the colors on this. Okay. Hair scrunchie. I've been using this and it is perfect. I have really long, really thick hair. Um, and it is great for that. In fact, um, sometimes I go to put a, a hair tie in my hair and it snaps immediately. <laughs> um, so I do plan on getting my hair cut very, very soon. I haven't cut it in two and a half years. In fact, this is the longest that I've had it since high school. Um, and so I'm going to wait until we get our family pictures and then I am going to cut it. Not like massively, but it will be, um, it'll be a good cut. It'll probably be to about my shoulders. Maybe we'll see. That's the plan right now. Um, and I do like my long hair, but it'll grow back. And this is so much work to take care of. It takes so long. I don't have naturally straight hair. Um, and so for me to straighten my hair, it takes me a good hour, hour and a half. Jax. My dog was on top of my coffee table. Okay, so um, this is what I mean by my chit-chatting with me. So my two-year-old daughter does not have a piggy bank. I know. It's insane how she doesn't manage to have one right now, or at least yet. Um, and she is very into dinosaurs and I saw this and I thought this could not be more perfect for her. So it's glittery. It's a piggy bank and it has dinosaurs and it says saving for a dinosaur. I just think that is so adorable. There's a glare from my phone. Sorry guys. Saving for a dinosaur. I don't, I mean, I like to find her pink and purple and girly colored dinosaurs, but she doesn't care. And this, the saving for a dinosaur is so cute. So she has a piggy bank now. Landry, please don't be cutting up paper on my windowsill. The window in my bedroom um, is, it's got a very long ledge and the kids like to sit there and play and do things. And it drives me crazy. So this is a unicorn sticker story. I got this for my niece, my goddaughter. Um, and I just gonna give it to her when I see her next because I love her and I miss her sometimes. So I wanted to get her something fun to do. She's three. Jax, no. Um, so I think she liked this. I think she was into unicorns um, at her birthday time and I got her some unicorn stuff and then I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to get that for my niece. Okay. I opened these for my kids to try as my son's standing here. Can I have one? Um, I like to get things like this that when they're just being obnoxious and I really need to, them to settle down or we're at a place where I need them to quiet down. I like to have things like this. So this is, it's okay, just blow it off, buddy. Um, these are the Mentos Fruity Mints, I guess. I don't know if they're minty. I don't really like Mentos, so I haven't tried them, but they are individually wrapped. I don't know what my dogs are barking at. They're barking at the neighbors. My dogs um, excessively bark at everything under the sun, so I apologize if you hear it. But yeah, so they're individually wrapped. Each package has 23 pieces. I did get two of these because, like I said, it's just nice to have a couple to throw in my purse. And this is a big water. 
and my son's showing you a big water. I did get one of these um, to try. I'm going to drink it and then I'm going to save this bottle for some sort of craft, maybe um, like widening the top and making a vase or something, but I will craft with it. So yes, there is that. And um, I got my own scissors. Yes, he has his own scissors. From cool. From school. Okay, thanks, let me finish. Um, so yeah, these are just convenient to have on hand and um, the fact that they're individually wrapped, they each get one and um, if I don't use the whole bag, they don't go bad because they're individually wrapped. So that is super convenient. Um, and then a little staple from my childhood, Pop Rocks. Because why not? I am not going to act like... Um, All right, Pop Rocks. Can you go get the dog, please? He's trying to get up on the counter. My dog is the worst behaved dog I've ever had. Um, get. get out! Okay, thanks, buddy. Uh, I'm not going to act like we eat super healthy all the time. Uh, we do sometimes. We don't sometimes. And I like getting my kids healthy snacks, but I also don't mind getting them some fun snacks as well. So exactly. in moderation, they're okay. Wow, this is so pretty. And another one because there's only three packs in each and I have five kids. This is so pretty. I know, thanks buddy. Can you go take the dogs down to Hunter? <laughs> Max and Jack! My dogs' names are Max and Jacks. They don't look like each other. They're two different breeds of dogs completely, but... Okay, so I found Colors of the World crayons and I love, I love this. I remember as a kid only having like brown and black and peach crayons to color um, the skin of the people that I was coloring. And I love that there's so many options. And I think that it was awesome that they came out with these. So I have these. No, no more, thank you. Why? Because I said so. Um, I just got the iPhone 12 and I never find cheapo cases. And I found this and I thought that was so cool. So this is a little glittery one. Uh, plus side, it's super cute and it fits great. Downside, it is, it's like rough. It's rough, the glitter falls off. Don't get any candy, please. My son's peeking around the kitchen into my room to see if I'm gonna notice him grabbing food. So, so cute. All right. This one I felt like was so perfect for me. I hate when I get packages when my husband's home. I really do. Um, so this one says, Dear Lord, please don't let my spouse be home when all of my online orders arrive. Amen. And this is a magnet. And these are my suit. Yeah. Thank you. Those are his shoes. Okay. No more, buddy. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Uh, and I'm sure that he will be like, yeah, I know. So, um, I, know. I found another scrunchie. These are just, again, really big. Uh, they're great. I do wear my hair most of the time in a bun when I have my ballet classes. Um, in my lyrical class, I don't really care that much, but in my ballet classes, I do put my hair in a bun and these will be, um, so much easier to keep it in the bun. Um, my hair ties just don't hold all the hair I have. All right, I have seen some people hauling these and I finally found one, so I was pretty excited. Um, the perfectionist in me, it, this is driving me nuts because the circle is not even with the letter. Um, it just, I think it looks weird, so I'm gonna try to fix it, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna give it as a gift or keep it for my house. I try to stay no. decently minimalist with my decor. Sure, go put it on the fridge, thank you. But I did find one and I have it either as a gift or to keep, I'm not really sure. Um, I am starting to uh, pick up things to give us gifts for Christmas time and birthdays to go with bigger gifts or other gifts or, um, yeah, so uh, I'm starting to build up my collection, but um, make no mistake, they will not be staying here uh, by Christmas time or by Christmas, they will all be out of my house. Um, but this is what I do, so. I found this last night. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's so cute. Fall is my favorite time of the year. My son is standing here waiting for it. Um, 
but fall is my favorite season and I think this is adorable. You're shaking the camera, buddy. See? Thanks. Uh, so I was really excited to see this. There you go. Thank you. Wait, All right. Can I keep it? No, you can't keep it, but we can just leave it out and everybody can enjoy it. Yeah. I found a book. I found actually several hey. books that I'm going to be giving as gifts. Um, but I love when you find a book and it's someone you really know. So this is called This Will Only Hurt a Little. And it is actually written by Busy Phillips, the actress. Um, and this book is normally $16 in the United States. And I got it for a dollar. Um, and it's just kind of her story or, oh, I see some cuss words in here. <laughs> um, so it's written by her and I think somebody would really enjoy it. Um, or maybe I'll read it. I don't know. Um, I'll probably give it as a gift. I have plenty to read. So, but the whole point was I was trying to find books to give as gifts. Um, I have made this book in a video like five times and all the videos were, uh, problems. Um, so this is called The Very Persistent Grippers of Fripp. It is a children's book. Um, it's got lots of pictures. It's got a lot of words, but there are also tons of pictures. Um, and I could go into what the story is about, but it would just take too long. So if you see it and you're interested because just the cover pulled me in, um, I would just check it out. It's kind of uh, a whole thing. So this book sells for $22 in the United States. And again, a dollar for me. My lunch is sitting here getting cold. I don't want to eat in front of you guys. I know, right? <laughs> okay, this is going to be very out of order. So the next thing I have, um, I found these bath bombs. These are rose water and aloe. It's for owie. Uh, no, those ones were for Ember, and I already sent them up, buddy. I got some for my niece, so if you're watching, ignore this. Um, so yeah, these are going to be a gift for somebody to go with um, some other things. But three bath bombs, I think it's really cute. All right, I'm trying to be organized so that way all of my stuff is not falling all over as I'm telling you guys. Okay. I found this tray in the crafter's square and I am going to paint it and maybe do some rub on transfers and maybe some sanding because it's a little rougher on the edges here. Um, and I think I'm going to use it as a um, remote tray. I, my lights in my bedroom I have a remote for and my TV and generally I'm not sure where they went. I think somebody actually took off with my remotes because generally they just sit in my pen cup. Um, so I am going to um, craft with that one. And speaking of rub-on transfers, I found these. These are absolutely adorable unicorns. Um, it's these little raccoons right here. They just, oh, my heart bursts. They're so adorable. Uh, swans. I love swans. Um, we did a dance to Black Swan from like Swan Lake type Jack's thing um, from our recital just a couple weeks ago or a week ago. I'm not sure. Um, so I just love these. And if I had found another one, I would have bought more than one. But this was the only one. And I'm so happy I found this one. Everly, can you bring that to mommy, please? Or just grab some stuff and took off out of the room. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so I have bought these before. I've hauled them before. Um, they are, it says adhesive pearl wrap. But the thing I like about these is it's one whole sheet. The whole thing is sticky. So you're not having to take each little bead and stick it on. Um, for me, what I do is like this. This is the pen cup I did. Um, I just cut the size that I need and then it 
all sticks, so it's very easy to use. I've bought the white pearly colors before, I've bought gold, I've bought the purple like diamondy colors, and this is the first time I've seen silver, so I grabbed a silver one. All right. I only have one of these to show you because my daughter put the other one behind her bed. Um, I bought these. And if you've ever listened to me talk, I um, am, I don't know if I have them. I am obsessed with dream catchers. I have them everywhere, um, especially in my bedroom. I've had a dream catcher above my bed since, oh gosh. Well, I used to have nightmares a lot. And one year my dad um, brought me back a dream catcher from Canada. I still have it. It is still above my bed and I was, um, I was younger and it just kind of blossomed from there. So I have like um, big portraits and pictures and paintings of dream catchers everywhere. I did my daughter's nursery in dream catchers and I also did a, um, a craft for a name thing above her bed with feathers and I love feathers and dream catchers and anything that kind of um, is relevant to a dream catcher. So I found these and I am going to put them on my daughter's toddler bed. She's in a toddler bed now. It is a white wooden bed and I think these are going to go great with all the decor. Um, so I'll probably insert some pictures or um, you know I'll probably just put some pictures at the end of the things that I'm talking about. So um, yeah that's what that's for. I've got this one piece of hair sticking out and I don't know if it's um, it's static or what's happening here okay so I found some more stickers and this is all gonna be very out of order um, but at least you're gonna have like a longer video coming at you so I found these ones these are super super cute um, sparkle I love I love anything sparkly shimmery anything like that I really really like so I think these are really cute Oh, okay, so she grabbed the tray and the fox. I found these, I did use one sticker already, um, and I love flowers and I love old cars and old trucks. Um, in fact, I like just trucks in general. So um, I am not the type of girl who's gonna be like, ooh, that guy has a sports car, that's so awesome. Um, I would be much more impressed with a big truck than a sports car, just not my thing. Um, but I do love old cars um, and it started. Oh yeah, it's broke, honey. Jax, no. See, I have to tell the dog over and over. Jax, come here. Um, my love of old cars and things like that started a long time ago. Uh, my dad used to be into them or maybe still is. No, honey, you can't have that. Here, would you like a cookie? I want it. Here, here. You can't have Pop Rocks right now either. Um, and so I saw these and I just, I love them. I love the flowers. I love the trucks. I love the um, like gingham or buffalo check hearts, whatever you want to call them. And my sister loves cows. So I'm going to do a crafting project as a gift for her and use these cow stickers. So, and then I also found another one that has flowers and stuff, but it has a lot more of these old trucks. And I just think that they are so cool. So I've got those. Honey, can you bring those to mama, please? Good. Okay. So I pretty much never find any hard candy uh, makeup at my Dollar Trees ever. Um, but I did find a couple things. Um, well, yeah, so, but they're not going to all be in order. So I found this, um, plumping serum and it is a lip gloss in the color gallery girl. It's kind of like a lavendery color when you look at it. Night night. Do you need to go night night? Get your blankie and lay down. Mommy. Um, and uh, it, it just, no, that's mama's. Thank you, honey. It kind of comes off clear. 
That's mama's lunch, baby. Can you eat these cookies? Do you want a cookie? No, I'm sorry. So yeah, it, it doesn't come off like purple. It's kind of shimmery. I don't know if that's gonna show very well. It probably is not gonna show the easiest, but yeah, shimmery. So I found that, I got one for myself and then I got two to give as gifts because they're so pretty. So those are those. Those are those, right? I did pick up two of these placemats. One, you're okay, honey. Did you wanna come sit with me? Okay. So I did get two of these beautiful lemon placemats. I'm going to use one as a centerpiece. I like to put um, on my table one placemat right in the middle or on my counter. I know, hang on, honey. I guess she's trying to, this is Everly. No, okay. Um, that's my two-year-old. She really wants a bite of my lunch. Um, Anyway, so I like to put one down and then put like a centerpiece on it. So it's my, like my centerpiece placemat. And then the second one I got to actually craft with, I'm going to try to turn it into a um, pouch or a wallet or something. I've done that before. So I'm going to use that for that. And my organization skills are starting to lack a little bit now that I'm pulling out more stuff. Let's see. What's something fun? So my oldest daughter, doggy. yeah, doggy, my third, can I show the people? Can I show the people? I'll give it to you in a minute. My 13 year old found this. This is a painting puppies and it is, um, all you have to do is have a paintbrush with some water. And then once you do that, the paint is all on the page and it's just like a fun watercolor. So my dog, my two-year-old loves this, by the way. Would you like a bite of my sandwich? Mmm, nummy. These are great. I got some English muffin with ham on them from the grocery store, and I just heaped it up in the microwave. All right. I did finally find some of these. Um calendars. I found this family blessed home or blessed family home or however you need to say it. And today is a good day. These are going to be gifts. I do have the coffee one. I think most of you guys have seen it and it's sitting up there above my sign. So I'm not going to um, grab it, especially since my daughter's sitting in my lap, but it it says running on grace and coffee and it just has a coffee cup so that one is mine because i love coffee so much coffee makes me happy um so these two are going to be gifts and i'm feeding my child okay i thought this was really cute and i think i'm pretty picky about like the type of chapstick i'll use so um, I think this is really cute and I'm going to give it as a gift for someone if my hair wasn't stuck to the packaging. Wow. Okay. And it is a glittery, sparkly looking diamond and it's chapstick. How fun is that? It is a vanilla scent. So I am going to give that as a gift. Most of this is going to be actually going as gifts. Honey, you're going to eat my whole sandwich and then I'm going to have nothing to eat. A little goofball. All right. I just keep saying all right. Because I know what I'm looking for so I can show you guys. It's just all kind of falling together. Okay, so another thing I found that I am going to be giving as a gift um, are these uh, prayer tins. Give it to God. This one, I really like it. It's kind of like a, okay, can you have one more bite and then let mommy have the rest? Thanks, honey. That's probably not going to happen. Um, it's kind of like a farmhouse -y look almost. I like the, the little note paper kind of looks like 
um, there's a fuzz, like wood or like the side of a barn, like the white wood or whatever. So, and it says, God is within her, she will not fail. I really like this one. I have this one somewhere. Um, it's actually on my desk right there. And then I found this one, give it to God. And this one says, I am the Lord who heals you. And they both come with this paper and pencil and I love that. Oh, oh my goodness, I dropped it. That's okay. I'll just get that pencil in a second. So those are gonna be gifts. And I thought one of them would be cute to go with um, this. I'm gonna give as a gift, trust your purpose. Um, I think that would be really cute. So I am going to give that. She's just eating all of my sandwich. There ain't gonna be any left. All right. I keep saying all right, why do I do that? So I found this um, and I, I really am very, very organized. So finding things with the organizational pockets for me or to store important documents is really um, a big thing for me. I do keep them in a, a fire safe lockbox, but just even having them organized into these is great. So this one has a pocket on the front and then this slide zipper type thing and it's this pocket in the back. So I'm not going to attempt to try to open that one handed. I don't think it's going to go well if I do. And then I also found this. <clears throat> this is one that holds the full, I mean, I think the other one could too, but these hold full size documents and then it just folds down like really compact and I really like that. <clears throat> okay, honey, mama wants to eat some too. Can I have some? <laughs> One more bite. Oh boy. All right, thank you. Jack Snow. I found some cute nail polish. Um, I'm not gonna lie, some of the nail polishes there, I don't like because they've got this like hardening gel and it's so thick that when you put it on your nail like it dries before you can even spread it out like not dries but it just starts thickening before you can spread it out um, but this is a different brand and I wanted to try it and it's like metallic -y, glittery um, shimmery like more shimmery than glittery I mean, you can kind of get a really good sense of what it looks like just from, I can tell, looking in this camera. I just gave my daughter the rest of the sandwich. I took two bites and told her just to go ahead and take it because I knew I wasn't going to get any more. Thanks, honey. Can you put those back for me? Thank you. I don't need those right now. So I found some crafting stuff um, and I was actually pretty excited because the only ones I've found of these before are the numbers that are spelled out. But this one is for, hmm. I thought it would actually be like labeled on which one it was, but this one is travel type stuff. So there's a camera and there is the Eiffel Tower, some luggage, a plane traveling around the world. This one says good trip, I think. And this one has an arrow and says travel. So I think those will be great for crafting. Um, and I do craft a lot. And then I was really excited about these ones because I know I just told you about my thing with feathers and dream catchers. And this one is feathers. How great is that? So it's got this feather and it's got an arrow, another feather, another arrow another feather, a feather, a feather, another really cool arrow, and then you're back to the original feather. So I'm pretty excited about these ones. Um, so this is the nail polish that I was talking about. I did buy one hoping that maybe it was just something with the ones that I bought. So this, I'm so excited to put this color on my toes. I love hot pink for my toes, but it does. These are the ones that say they have hardeners in them right here with hardeners. 
and these are the ones that I've had issues with so I'm hoping maybe it was just one that was older or something and we'll see um, but these are two different brands this one's LA colors and this one is sassy and chic okay I found some adhesive spray for crafting I'm sure I can find a lot probably to do with that um, so we will see I found this little pack um, three pack of tweezers there's different styles or types um, one is for ingrown hairs it's a pointed tip one is for brow hairs slanted tip and one for thick hairs which is a flat edge these ones for ingrown hairs I actually use when my kids get slivers so they work out really well I like how small they are they'll fit in my little med kits that I put in my diaper bags so I mean I think it was a really good deal I'm trying to keep some of the like sets together um, I don't whenever I want a sharpie I can't find one and whenever I don't need one that's when I can find them but I did find these really cute sharpies called sharpie mystic gems look at these colors that is so awesome I love these colors and I don't think they actually have like a color name but these are special edition ones and I had to get them because I love the colors Uh, you're gonna see a lot of notebooks these are from multiple locations because they are from multiple videos that I plan to do so um first thing I found doodle journals how cute are these I love to doodle especially when I'm like on a phone call um, paying a bill or something I get bored waiting or whatnot um, and these are doodle journals one size for writing one size for doodling I love it so this one is donut pandas then I have lollipops I love these lollipops I think they're adorable and then the last one is I think it's supposed to be kind of like a mermaid like scales or I don't know and this one looks like that so these are really cute um, a lot of these will be for gifts in fact, I bought some for my niece and sent some to her for her birthday. Um, my dog is again at the gate crying because he wants to come upstairs. And I don't want him to come upstairs right now. So this is another Crown Jewels product. This is a journal. It came in a plastic wrap. I just took it out for the sake of um, saving some space. That is the brand again, Crown Jewels. And this one has like the flower type pattern. It might be hard to see, um, but it kind of looks like this pattern on the backgrounds of the pages. And then this one kind of looks like brush strokes. Love you too, buddy. Okay, so then there's this one. This one says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Uh, it's a scripture. And on the left side of the pages, it's got it written up here, and then the rest is blank, but it's on every left page. Uh, I, again, feathers and dream catchers are my thing, so these ones, I bought two of them. These are for me. <laughs> um, I will use them for something, but I really love feathers and dream catchers, and this just kind of looks like, um, like little floating dots, kind of like the ones you see on the cover. So I was really excited to find those. This is what this one looks like. And then you open it and the inside kind of looks like the same pattern. It's really pretty. I love stuff like this. And these are gonna be some great gifts. All right. A couple small ones that I found. And again, these are all crown jewels. Great company, love them. So this is unicorn cupcakes. If you want, this could be a doodle journal and you could just sit and like every time you turn the page, color the cupcake a different color or something. So cute. 
And then macaroons. I mean, gosh, how cute are those? And it looks like paint slatters. Splatters, slatters. My, my son's watching me, taking notes. He wants to be a YouTuber. Okay, so I found these um, chalkboards by Jot. I'm pretty sure they're pretty normal. I think I always see them there. Um, <clears throat> I actually bought these to craft with. I can see my camera. <laughs> um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to um, use some of these like farmhouse type stickers with the trucks. Um, these ones. And I'm going, or these ones. Um, and I'm going to use them to make a decoration piece. And then I also got this chalk marker to craft it with it. Um, so that was the plan with those. All right, I have a lot of books, so we're gonna get through the books real quick. Um, and I'm not even gonna give you like a full rundown of what these stories are about, because I know if you guys wanna see, you'll just ask or you'll just look when you're there. So I got two of these. These are called Midnight Sun and it is, um, it's a movie, it's actually a movie. So um, who writes this? Trish Cook, I don't know. I don't know if I've heard of this one yet, but I plan on reading it and then giving it to my daughter, even if it is um, in, uh, listed as, I don't know, young adults, is that how they list it? Um, I mean, I read all the Twilight books and I love them. So makes no difference to me. So I got two of these, one to give as a gift to someone, or if my daughter has a friend whose birthday is coming up, it makes a good gift. And these um, sell for $10.99 in the US and they were a dollar a piece, obviously, because we're doing a Dollar Tree haul. All right, these are some hard, hard, hardback books. Um, this one's called Defy the Worlds. And this one sells for $17.99 and it has almost 500 pages. Um, it does look like a really good story and I would love to read it, but this is actually the second book. So I'm gonna see if I can find the first book before I attempt to read this so I'm not confused as to what's going on. Um, I just watched all the Avengers movies with my husband the other day and I was like, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> And for all the movies that I missed, he had to explain, and I just kind of hate that, so I want to read the first one before I get into this. But for a dollar, you know. And then this one looks really good, too. This is called The Age of Light. I have every intention of reading this one. This one sells for $28 in the U.S., and then wherever it went to next, it was selling it for $15.49, and then I bought it for a dollar. So, no complaints there. Okay, placements. I bought, let's see if I can do this. I bought these two placements to craft with. These are the hard plastic ones. And then I have been watching a lady on YouTube um, who makes these foamy placemats into totes and wallets. And I'm so excited to try her, um, her way of doing it. So I just picked up these ones. I've been trying to find like matching ones. These ones were randomly around, so I couldn't even find two, two of them. And a lot of the bags or things that she makes with these require two. So it's just a start to um, start collecting what I need for them. But I did find two of these and I love coffee. So I think I'm going to try to make a coffee tote. And this one says, wake up and smell the coffee. So I have two of those. I have this one. I want to make like a pouch or something or a wallet or something. Um, I have a friend who loves wine. So that one for her. And then this one, I think that will be really cute too. So those are placemats. Okay. I think I saw at home with Casey haul these in a different style, which I also have. Um, and, uh, I saw them and I was like, these are fantastic. So these are make your own punch out mobile set to hang above your bed as a decoration. I have a four year old niece who's almost five, I think maybe. Sorry, Alicia, I might be wrong. <laughs> That's my sister-in-law. Um, 
and I sent her one of these for her birthday with some other things. Um, but she likes Frozen, and these ones are so cool. Look at that. It makes like a little decoration okay. for a bucket bag. I saw at home with Casey haul these. Um, these are LOL, um, like make your own mobile type thing. Yeah, make your own punch out mobile set. Uh, and my two year old daughter loves her LOL baby doll. She has um, this cute little LOL cup. That's what she's drinking out of today. And she saw these and she said, baby. And probably because this is one of her favorite baby dolls. This is a giant LOL and she loves it so much. So I am so excited that I found these. I'm going to put it together and put it by her bed and she's just gonna be so excited. So that was a great haul. I did get two of them, one to give as a gift again. What's up, buddy? Oh. I'm still recording. I know. Okay. I'm just watching you. I want to be a YouTuber. I know you want to be a YouTuber someday, buddy. <laughs> okay. I found these. Wouldn't the world be a better place if we could all be colorblind? I love, I love this Be Colorblind sticker. I love it. Um, it kind of goes with that whole Colors of the World crayon box theme. And I just think these are um, really great. I love it. So I got one of these. I got this one with the hanging plants. I love these hanging plants. I think they're so cute. And I love the positive messages that they have. You got this, keep moving forward, um, good things ahead. Sometimes it's nice just to have those. And you guys, I finally found them. I finally found them. I have searched every, almost every Dollar Tree in my city and could not find them. And I found them. And they were hidden. I mean, they were hidden really, really good. But there was like 30 of them. I grabbed six so I could give some as gifts and keep a couple for myself. Um, but I found them, my pantry stickers. I'm so excited. So I'm going to hold up two so you guys can see what the front and the back look like if you haven't maybe just pause the video and then you'll be able to see it but oh my gosh i was so ecstatic i have a very organized kitchen cupboard um or cupboards thank you to the dollar tree cereal bins and um i'm so excited to label my bins what's up honey so we're getting to the bottom of the barrel now I found this and I am still looking for a second one because I would like to keep one for myself but also give one as a gift. Um, this beautiful little book, it says, he who plants a tree plants a hope. I really like this. It does come with an envelope that matches to give it as a gift. So I would like to have a second one. I have yet to find one, but I would like to have one for myself. What, honey? Luno? Luno is our cat. I don't know where he's at, honey. Um, so hopefully I can find another one of those, but that is the only one I've found so far. Um, another book that I found, The Eternal City. It looks like it's for maybe young adults. And this one sells for $17.99 in the U.S. So really good deal for a dollar. Oh, we're almost there, guys. But I notice now that I am missing. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, I sent it to my niece. Okay, so uh, I saw these and I think I saw Andrea from A Trucker's Wife Loves Life haul these. Um, and I <laughs> was like, no, I'm not going to get those. I don't need those. And then I saw them in the store and I was like, oh, my God, those are so cute. I have to get these. So what is happening? Okay, that's a good trade, buddy. Uh, usually I have my oldest try to watch my two-year-old while I'm doing this, but I watch Anna from Only In My Dreams a lot. And if she can have her kids running around and handle it, so can I. So thanks, Anna. All right, so the next thing I have is some liquid cat suit. I have seen Andrea haul these many times too, and I never find it. So I found this liquid cat suit uh, lip gloss or lipstick. It says metallic lipstick, but it's really, I mean, it's a gloss. Um, so this one is in the color Honey Glaze. 
think it's kind of pretty. Um, and actually, I forgot to pull them out, so I'm going to do it right now. But I found some more hard candy stuff, which I was really excited about. Um, oh, and more liquid cat suit. So I did find this liquid cat suit um, eyeshadow, and it's called Fairy Tale Ending. I don't understand what's up with this one because it was completely sealed, so I know it hadn't been used. But I only used it the once and it's like pretty empty. So I don't know if you guys have used this and you know, let me know. Does it always get this empty or I mean, is this just a, I mean, it looks like you can see through some of the spots and it looks pretty stinking empty. So, but again, I, it was sealed. So I know it wasn't used. Um, so I found this Wet n Wild color corrector. This one is supposed to help with your dark circles. And I'm actually really, really impressed. I've never seen this before. I've never used it until just um, yesterday. I'm using it today, but I have been wearing this for a while today. So um, this is a massive improvement. <laughs> I have five kids. I'm just always running, so I'm always tired and I always have dark circles. Um, and this, I really am impressed with this. And this is in the color Peach. Um, and this is, I think this is the only one that said it was for dark circles specifically, but I like it. I'm very impressed with it. Okay, so I did find, finally, I have yet to find any big hard candy um, makeup palettes, but I did find, finally, some small ones. So I found this one. And this one is in the color Flirty. Let me open it up and it's like a pink. And I have been trying to use some of these products so you guys can see. So that is actually what I'm wearing right now. That is the pink or the Flirty color. So I'm very happy with that. I found this one. I wore this one yesterday. And this is in the color infatuation it's kind of like a champagne color it's very shimmery which you can't tell and so is the pink the pink shimmery as well and then I found this one I haven't used this one yet so I can't open it well I guess I probably could maybe just try to pull this little tab back this one is color the color ice queen um okay I think there's a fly flying around here and this one is like a, it's more than shimmery. It's pretty glittery. And it is like a, I don't even know if I can get you like a good, mm, sorry, I'm a little shaky today, guys. My daughter ate my lunch. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can finish this quick because my daughter's getting grumpy and my son's fighting with her. My son's fighting with my two-year-old. Um, so I found this e.l.f. lipstick. I didn't say you were two. I said you're fighting with your two-year-old sister. This is the color Classy. It is pretty pink um, on me, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, my only complaint about this is that the lid does not stay on worth a darn, so I don't know how many times now I've gotten into my makeup bag um, and the lid's off. So just beware. This is e.l.f. brand, so it is a nice name brand, but it doesn't stay on well. And then I got some more liquid cat suit. And as you can see, uh, I don't know where it went, the purple one. Okay, but the purple one does not look like this. This is the same thing. This is also eyeshadow. It's a metallic eyeshadow. Comes off pretty dark and it's in the color Ruby Heist. Um, this one is not empty like that purple one. So I don't know what the deal with that other one is. But I do like this one. It's really pretty. And I paired it with this liquid cat suit lipstick which yes I'm upside down there we go and this is in the color I don't desert you uh it is dark it's really dark um but I like it and this is yeah metallic lipstick so it is really dark but I like it I do so I paired these two together um and it's really pretty. All right, I think we are finally down to my last items. And I only have three to show you now because, oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. So this is the lipstick I'm wearing and it's rubbed off a little bit because I was drinking um, out of my cup and it's on my cup. Uh, 
I'm actually pretty impressed. This is the Mega Glow Lip Gloss by Wet n Wild in the color Rose Quartz. And it actually has some color to it. A lot of times these shimmery lip glosses don't have much color, but this one actually I put on, I was like, wow, there is actually some color to it. So I was really impressed. I do like this. So yeah, got that there. All right, these are my last things. And these are also Wet n Wild. I feel like I kind of hit the jackpot the other day with this makeup and this, these. I have never seen these before, not even at the regular stores. Um, these are Wet n Wild perfume rollers. Wet n Wild perfume rollers, and they have stones in them. So this one is healing, and this is a clear stone. I sent my niece one that had purple stones, and I don't, I think maybe it was balance. Um, I also have this one, and this one is prosperity. It has green stones. And then I have this one, which is love and it has pink stones. I did not open all of these. I actually bought two of the love and I opened the love and I really love the smell. So I kept one for myself, but these other three are going to be gifts. Um, but how cool are those? So I think those are gonna make a really nice gift. Like even if you're just doing a gift card, you could stick this with a gift card and it would be great. So, um, I think I finally made it through my giant bag. So I hope you guys are all having a good day. It's